Shalom, and welcome back. Uh, I know you, you guys have been worried I may not put out a video because of the, the training of the students, but I'm still working. As you can see down at the bottom, it's um, a little after 2 a.m. on uh, Tuesday the 21st, and I'm up working. And the way I want to start this one off is... Uh, Going back to the Atomic Holocaust, that is going to be the access term. However, there will be a, a row skip on that. I'm going to show you that in a moment. But this is the original, uh, and I'll put a link to this PDF down in the bottom. You can take a look at some of the um, words and terms that come on there. But I want to take you over to what I've been looking at uh, here tonight, um, which is the same thing. It just has a row skip. You can see the width. On this is 1044. Notice the 44. Atomic Holocaust. So hang with me. I want to show you a few new things that I found in here. So starting at the top, we have the name of Obama here. I consider all these things that are in coded in the scripture, been here for thousands of years, that are modern terms. Olami, which is the, the whole world here um, several countries all right so we're talking about atomic holocaust this is the whole world and the reason i know is all of these yellow words that look it spans i'm going to turn the cylinder all the way around and you can see that this literally goes all the way around this is one side of the cylinder and we're going to go all the way through i'll stop there you can see it's a train of them and that's mishpaka Mishpaka, which is family. The word family, or a version of it, families, is in those two, those two col uh, lines, horizontal lines, all the way around the cylinder, just like a ribbon. Mishpaka, 190 times. Uh, I'm not sure what that number means, but I'm sure it means something. Uh, if you guys have got an idea, let me know down at the bottom. 190 times Mishpaka, which is family. <clears throat> Yeshua's name, Yehoshua. Yod, hey, Bob, she and I. Yehoshua. Uh, the end of days. Echret Hayamim is up at the top. Uh, Iran, China, Russia uh, are all here. Major players. All the major players of the world are here. Uh, whether they are part of an uh, atomic exchange, I don't know. I do know there's there's a few ambushes here. As you can see, in the plane takes up here. And I believe this is an, uh, an anomaly, uh, uh, abacus effect. But the same word is here, and it's also here in ELS re in, in written backwards. Then it's also here. This starting with the hay in that same line that you see in the blue letters. That's the United States, uh, sort of Brit, and then in the red is Russia, of course, all in one line. Uh, we have the word war. It's also here in the ELS, and it's over here in the plain text. The uh, United States is down here as well, with the word Islam is very close. Then we have the word America right here with um, the curses and abomination all in one place we have war down here in plain text again war appears three times in the plain text in most of the time a high percentage of the time in these in these tables one two three but it's also here at a skip of eight right there with uh, you, you see China in the yellow we got Iran in the green uh, in the white is the world. It is also here, the world. So world, world, wor world over here. This white is Yom Yahuwah, the day of Yahuwah that comes all the way down. Uh, Pesach, the Passover, is connected to, of all things, a submarine. There's also a submarine down here. If you've been following the news lately, there's been a lot of talk about submarines deployed all over the place. Now this submarine has been in this text, and if you've seen the video, 
uh, many, 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 many months before they were talking about submarines in the news. Yet it's here. Uh, connected to war, absolutely. Uh, there will be an ambush at some point, folks. It is coming. I want to take you to this cluster right here. Notice this. Uh, in the blue, vertical, right alongside the axis term, is, again, America. But I want to zoom in so you can see very clearly this clustering of words. Uh, we are also connected to um, Israel. You've heard me say many times that Israel and the United States are the two covenant nations. And I want to blow this up so those that care to know the, the letters can see the letters. You can see here, this is America running through in the blue with the resh, but right across it is B'nai Yisrael, the children of Israel, right there. In the green, that is NATO, and then of course running across the top there, it is, that is the judgments, the Hamashepetim. Hamashepetims. NATO, United States, and or America, and Israel. In the red, vertical, with the pay in judgments, is, of course, FEMA camps. This is FEMA. It's also horizontal here. We can expect that in some sort of, and I think it's going to be a, a mixture of both, a catastrophic event and all-out war. Uh, and then you can also throw an economic collapse worldwide on top of that. So here we are back to, um, let me get it centered here. Okay. Back to, and see, these things are just, they take it. This has been literally a couple of years or more. I've looked at that. And I've just recently found all the yellow stuff up there and a few other terms. That's why we're looking at it again. And there's still yet more there. Uh, when I get my students up to par, this is one they will be looking at. And we're probably going to extract more information out of this, folks. But um, also, look at this. It's amazing. Korea. What is this about with Korea? Uh, no, that's North Korea, I'm sure. And the children of Israel crossing with the rest again. America crossing with the rash and Korea crossing with the rash right there. <clears throat> Let's read a couple of verses I got highlighted and uh, then I'll wrap it up. This first one up at the top is Balaam, prophet, giving a prophecy. This is uh, been, uh, the Midbar 24, 14 is where I'll start. And now, behold, I go unto my people, come therefore, and I will advertise to thee what this people shall do to thy people in the latter days. And uh, folks, you've heard me say before, I believe uh, Islam is the sword of Yahuwah, that he will use his judgment. Uh, ISIS, from within, the things you've seen going on in the world, the things you're going to see happen in America, is uh, judgment. And it is absolutely war. Yeah, and Islam does play a major role in um, the end time eschatology. Some people do, don't want to believe that. They want to believe uh, it's all the Vatican. But who, who do you think the fighting force of the Vatican is? The Vatican does not have an army. They have a guard. They do not have an army. They do not have the capability unless they are puppet mastering the caliphate. So keep that in mind. They are behind this. Uh, the Vatican is also here. You can see they are involved um, in close proximity of America. Uh, Iran is all over this. Uh, again, Obama's name here. Uh, but I want to read this verse here. This is Devarim, second chapter, verse 25. And uh, this is what it says. Uh, and, and the Avims, which dwelt in Hezarim and even Azah, 
and the Kaphator Reims, which came forth out of Kaphtor, destroyed them and dwelt in their steed. And here in twenty, here in twenty, I started in twenty-three. So, reading on through, rise up, take your journey, and pass over the river Arnon. Behold, I have given into thine hand Shion, the Amorite king Hesbron, and his land. Begin to possess it and contend with him in battle. Uh, and then you can see right here, battle or war. Uh, this day I will begin to put dread of thee and the fear of thee upon the nations that are under the whole heaven, who shall hear report of thee and shall tremble and be in anguish because of thee. And now I want you to think about ISIS uh, worldwide. Uh, I believe that's what it's, it, it is referring to. Uh, and then down here with the connection to Va the Vatican, and I want to just, just the noon in the Vatican, just take a look at the verse there. Uh, we could probably go through each one of those letters, and uh, you will see a literal connection from the word to the verse uh, in this table. You can't get those anomalies in Moby Dick, folks. It's not going to happen. And I'm training people with the right programs that are going to show you that once and for all. No more misinformation. You're going to get solid codes from DecodeSearcher.com and all the students that are over there. Uh, this is a verse in uh, Devarim, fourth chapter, starting at verse 24. Let's go to 20. Three, take heed unto yourself, lest ye you forget the covenant of the Adonai your Elohim, which made with you, and make you a graven image, <clears throat> keyword, graven image, or the likeness of anything, that is, any, as in anything, uh, mother, tree, you name it, anything, which Yahuwah thy Elohim hath forbidden thee. For the Adonai thy Elohim is a consuming fire, even a jealous Elohim. Uh, and you have the Vatican connected to that. Can you see a parallel there of why that would be? Uh, so just want to point that out in, in here. Uh, there's so much, so much in here. There's a, of course, you can see on the PDF, uh, there are years. This could probably be because of the build-up to this. But again, here's another year, which is in 2016. Uh, I believe it was 2013, 2014, uh, and maybe even 2015 has been uh, found in these tables. Again, those those uh, sequences of years appearing in an end-time table. Uh, this could be even though it hasn't happened on a, on a particular year, there, there was a danger of this. So uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure. That is why we need uh, you know, hands and eyes on these tables pulling this information out. Um, I think it's, it's information we need to know, uh, certainly about the secret things. I mean, this is just, uh, you know, this is not even predicting the future. This is really common sense. We know a nuclear holocaust. We know there's going to be an Armageddon. We know there's going to be a World War III. So this is not about, you know, is this predicting something? It's just a matter of time. When is it going to happen? Uh, it is yet to. We are seeing the stage set for it. So that's why these things are important. Not just to uh, show the Jew who Yeshua is, but the body where we are. So, folks, be praying about this ministry. We're training students to do this, to bring this out uh, on a larger scale, uh, and it's not an easy task. Shalom. Yeshua be with you.